All right, here's uh, another addition to modifications to the boat. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install this voltmeter uh, that I had purchased um, so I know how the battery's doing when I'm out on the water. We're sitting there, you know, just chilling and, and uh, listening to the radio and doing whatever. I wanna make sure I'm gonna have enough juice to restart the boat because uh, that's one of the problems uh, that you can run across is out on the lake having too much fun, listening to too much music, using up too much juice, and not have enough juice to uh, start the boat. So, you know, that's uh, one thing I want to keep track of. So I got this uh, nice LED, uh, or yeah, LED uh, voltmeter, and I've tested it out, uh, looked at the instructions, basically red goes to the ignition switch. So it's the controlled power, black goes to the battery, and yellow is continuous uh, to the battery. So um, it'll also tell you the charging on it as well. So uh, I've got a nine volt battery. Uh, you can check it with your tongue, uh, get a nice good shock. But uh, I can show you real quick um, that it works. As you can see, if you can see it again, um, it comes on, it does itself a little check and it shows that the battery is 9 volts. But you see the three little red bars, that means that it's not charging or it's dangerously low, so it'll continue to flash. Um, I read the instructions and stuff on it, uh, which were pretty plain and simple, but um, it's just a little addition I want to add to the boat because. Uh, you know, I just want to be safe on it, so I'll uh, show you. Uh, this is the location I want to put it, um, right here. So what I'll do is I'll measure from corner to corner, and then I'll make a little mark so I can get it dead center, so it's uh, center with that as well. So uh, I'll go ahead and get it marked, and then uh, I'll drill it out. I got one of these uh, uh, hole dozers from Milwaukee. Uh, it's two inch, 51 millimeter. Um, it's the exact same diameter as uh, <coughs> as my voltmeter, so it should fit right in there, nice and snug. If it doesn't, I can just take out a little bit with uh, sandpaper, and then it should be good to go. Uh, these little bolts uh, on the back side they uh, pinch up against the back, so it keeps it nice and sturdy on there. All right, so I've gotten the hole drilled. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. Um, it does fit in there. I actually had to take my Dremel and just kind of uh, catch a little bit of the sides and it fits in there just perfectly. Um, as you can see, uh, it, I mean, it's a snug fit all the way down in. Uh, looking at it, it's, it's almost just dead center which you know I'm gonna be happy with it uh, you can't always be 100% uh, with everything especially when you're modifying it afterwards so um, I'll go with that and uh, I'll get her hooked up and show you how it looks all right so I'm gonna kind of show you how I got this wired so bear with me a little bit the voltmeter is up above the uh, whatever this is, the fuel gauge, voltmeter's up here. Red wire is the switch, which comes down, and I got it switched in right here. I checked it with my continuity tester to make sure when the switch was switched on that there was power to it, so I'll kind of dress it up, uh, zip tie it, and kind of look, make it look a little bit nicer. And then, of course, I've got uh, the ground to the ground over here and the battery uh, continuous uh, tapped in right here so as you can see the black and yellow wires I'll kind of dress it up a little bit nicer so the wires are tucked away and look much better so oh, ow man I got a lot of little dings on my nug nugget because uh, getting up and down whacking my head on stuff so and of course I gotta clean up everything um, so but here's kind of uh, what it'll do when you turn it on as you can see it goes through its self-test 
and it's sitting right at 12.5 and it's got uh, indicators all the way up to yellow uh, so it working the way I wanted to 12.5 I'm happy with that and I hope that was informational for you guys and I hope you're able to do something with it and give you a little confidence to do it yourself and that's what it does when it shuts off thanks again for uh, watching me do another installation on my boat uh, next should be uh, putting that wood uh, flush mounted fishing pole holders on my boat till then have a good day